<coughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. Steve here. So I, I have to be honest with you. I, uh, I sat down today. I just got myself a belly full of sourdough pancakes. <laughs> Maybe that's what did it. But um, I, I, I've gone. Usually I go through the week. And I, I, I read, you know, I have this devotional that, uh, that uh, this is, was Bucky's old devotional book, Martin Luther's uh, stuff. And, and between reading the Word and, and this devotional book, I usually, the Lord puts something on my heart, you know, or I learn something or I'm particularly inspired or shown something. And, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll do these Sunday devotions. And I sat down today. And I, and I also, as as I go along and I read, I'll I'll, I'll have some ideas or or Lord will put some on my heart and I'll write it down. And I just I had I had nothing this week. And I was walking along the other night, going to the gym or something, and I was thinking of funny of all things. I was well, I was thinking about Arlene. And I was you know missing her. It's, I just realized it's been two months since I've seen her. Uh, outside of Zoom, of course, but, but, um, and I was just thinking about how much I love her. And, and then I was thinking, and I just, it's just that, that still small voice, you know, the Lord just, just put that on my heart, like, you know, that's, that, that love right there is, is between us times 10, between myself and, and God. And I, and I was thinking, and that's, you know, I believe that, and Peter said that, 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 that nature testifies of God, everything. Everything, you know, testifies of the Lord and, and, you know, love between a man and a woman is a beautiful thing created by God. And, and, it, and it, it is a reflection of, of his relationship with us. And I, and I was thinking about that, and it moved me, right? So I, I was thinking about that. I'm like, oh, that's that's good, you know. I have to talk about that, and I just, but but nothing really kind of came, and uh, so I'm I'm looking through this morning, and I'm I'm looking at this, looking at that old notes and stuff, just nothing, and I'm like, well, let me let me talk about an old psalm that that I that I particularly like, and I'm like, well, I'll read my favorite psalm, Psalm 91, and I'm like, have I done that one already? And I went back and I looked at the channel, you know, you know when when you talk about Type of something, man, you always do that. You notice that? <laughs> or I called him and was talking. <laughs> I just We tease each other all the time at work. We'll go, so I sent an email the other day, and we'll go, oh, you did? <laughs> anyway, I'll do it too. Anyway, I, uh, I was, uh, and I went back, and I looked back at the channel, and I, I searched, and, and sure enough, about a year ago, in fact, I think exactly a year ago, <laughs> I did. I talked. I read the ninety-first Psalm, and then I, I was looking also at the channel, and Bucky had done the same thing. I'm like, "Well, I can't. Okay, I can't do that one again." And I'm like, "Well, I always love Psalm 18, and this this particular one. When I was at the Citadel, um, going through. Uh, by the way, see this right here. I, I did. I read someone's comment. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly who said it, but he said he watches these with his wife." And his wife is a seamstress and very detail oriented and very meticulous. And and she said that she she saw this string sticking out the side here, and it looked like a loose string, and it was driving her nuts. So let me move that around so you can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> so so I um, uh, so Psalm 18. When I was at the Citadel, I was I was going through a particularly. Uh, Tough time. I was trying out for a, a, a group there, the Summer All Guards. I was I was trying out. It's a precision drill team. You go through like th three weeks of intense, you know, physical training, training in the afternoon, and all that. So I, I would read that every day, and and the particular verses in there. I'm like, well, there's there's a particular verse, and I have and on the inside of my my citadel ring, I have Psalm 18 in there as well, because it inspired me, and um, in particular, um, let's see, where's the verse? Um, 
you know, the Lord is, uh, verse 2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave cold around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him. The dark rains, clouds, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning, he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed. The foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. You know, you read that's powerful. I mean, God's, he called upon God and God rescued him in a mighty way. And this was a psalm David wrote after he'd been saved from Saul. But back all the way up. And this is, this is what I love about God. I mean, uh, you know, what am I talk about? I'm kind of like, well, Lord, I, I just prayed. I was, Lord, give me something to, you know, put something on my heart to share. It's verse 1. And it says, I love you, Lord, my strength. Period. And all of these things. Uh, sorry. You know, God moving in a mighty way in his life. And David starts this off. So I, I, I remember it a lot with, with us growing up with the kids. The special events, we'd get family together. And I've talked about this before. We'd sit around the table and we'd play the I love me, I love you game. I love me game. No, I play, we played the I love you game. And uh, the I love me game is, is not very good. So. So we play the I love you game, which is, is we would go around the table, everybody. And everybody would, we'd say, okay, well, let's start with, you know, so-and-so. And we would start and we would go around the table and everybody would say one thing that they loved about that person. And think about that. I mean, how often, you know, you say I love you to your spouse or I love you to a family member. Say why. I mean, not that they have to justify your love or, or earn your love or any of that, but, 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 I mean, how much more rich are those words when you, when you quantify it, when you say, I love you because you're kind, or I love you because you're, you, you always have a kind word for people, your, your heart is so open and, and true. So... You know, I, I, I read that. It kind of changes this Psalm 18 a little bit. You know, you look through this and God moving in a mighty way and David's really saying, I love you. <laughs> because you saved me. And you move and help me and move in a mighty way in my life. So, uh, I'm all emotional. So, this moved me today. Uh, uh, anyway, there's Psalm 18, and verse 1 is the one that made me cry, all those things that would move me, you know, when I was younger, and God stepping in and helping, and that's verse 1. <laughs> so, just wanted to share that with you today. Hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.